All right, let's continue with the class. Okay, so formula Kentani piece. Okay, or thin lens formula. So for the experiment, okay, ah, uh, hubungan antara jarak objek dan jarak image, the relationship between the object distance and image distance. So it's actually affected, okay, jarak object dipengaruhi oleh jarak image, okay, your image distance is actually influenced by the object distance. So, when the, when your jarak object U, okay, when U is decreased, V will increase, okay. So, in some sense, U decrease, V will increase. Okay, this is because the the distance is be, normally distance between the distance between the image and object okay, object and image are fixed okay normally so biasanya jarak object dengan jarak image adalah adalah uh, fixed uh, kita panggil adalah mala okay so um, the pemboleh ubah the variables so your dimanipulasikan for manipulated variables okay jarak object u object distance so responding okay gerak balas image distance jarak image constant variable okay mal pemala okay your focal length of the lens f panjang focus okay so this is how this is how it use uh, how this is how the looks like lah. so the arrangement so we have a we have a power source okay sorry we have a light source with power source connected to power source then we have a cardboard we have a convex lenses and then a white screen where we will adjust normally lah. normally we will adjust the the what you call that the the lens to get to a to 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 arrange for the u and v okay now so when then we record like this and then we draw a graph okay so now from here it will lead to this formula where one over f equals to one over u plus one over v okay so f is the f is focal length okay so v is image u is the what you call that uh, object distance jarak object so when focal length is positive apabila panjang focus positive so it will create a real image image nyata and on the opposite side of the object di sebelah kanter yang bertentangan object so for concave lens Okay, kanter cekung. So, focal length is negative. Okay. Focal length is negative. Okay, panjang focus negative. So, image-nya yang dihasilkan, uh, image maya, okay, virtual image, di sebelah kanter yang sama dengan object, on the same side of the object. Means that this is the lens. This is a principal axis. This is object. So, if image is here, no, so this is on the same side with object. If your image is here, so we say on opposite side of object. Can I understand? Sorry? All right, jot this down. Yes. Jot this down. The whole thing. Okay, jot all this down. Then uh, let me know if you're done.
Okay, done, huh? Okay, good. All right, so let's do some questions. Okay, Roman, uh, let's do some questions. So I'll try to do these questions, these two. Okay, try to do these two questions. Done, please let me know.
Okay. So let's see the the answer. All right, an object height is, uh, there is 8 cm is placed at a distance of 20 cm from a concave lens. So its focal length is 10 cm. So it's the image distance and image size. So now for first questions, okay, we are using, we, are, we get that the object height, object height is uh, 8 cm. So your U is 20 cm. F is 10 cm. So, from a concave lens, okay, from, from a concave lens, is a focal length is, okay. So, the height place on the moon is not the length. Okay, if for the okay, see uh, according to just now what we see uh, when we are using the concave lens. Okay, concave lens we need a negative here. Okay, do not forget this one. Uh. So uh, so from the formula, one over f equals to one over u plus one over v. One over v is the one you want to find. So we just move here, move everything here. So we come one over. Uh, no, no, no. 1 over F minus 1 over U. Okay, so you start substitute everything. So you will get 1 over negative 10 equals to 1 over two, uh, eh. 1 over negative 10. 1 over negative 10 minus 1 over 20. Okay, so your V should be get negative 6.7 cm. Now, for the image size, okay, for the image size, we can use the formula uh, HI over HO. H image height for image over height of object equals to V over U. So we just substitute inside. So HI equals to V over U times HO. So this one already know is 6.7. Okay, we are talking about the magnitude. Huh? Okay, we're just talking about the magnitude over 20 times it. So you should get. Two point six eight CM. All right, for this one. Okay, a light source is placed on the left side of the lens of the focal length 12 cm, and the image form will be magnified six times on the right side of the lens. So, what is the type of the lens is used? Okay, and what is the object distance? So here, because it's uh, it's actually the he said the image form is at the opposite side. Okay, opposite side. And it's a real image. So we know that this should be, we will know that this should be the, what I call that, uh, this should be the, uh, what I call convex lens. Okay. This should be the convex lens. Huh? So the first answer. So let me, okay. First of all, I think I have to include something first. I need to include the text box.
All right, so the first thing first, okay, we say it's a convex lens because you say the light source placed on the left hand side, the image form is magnified on the right side. So the image form is on the opposite side and it's a real image. Okay, it's a real image. So that's why it's a convex lens. All right, for magnific, what is the distance of uh, object? What is the object distance? Okay, in this way, we can use the formula of magnification. Okay, we can use the magnification index. A for B, okay, we can use uh, M equals to V over U. He said six times equals to V over U, and we know that this will become v equals to 6u. Now, for another formula, 1 over u plus 1 over v equals to 1 over f, and we know that the focal length is 12. So 1 over u plus, this one is 6u, 1 over 6u equals to uh, 1, over, 1 over 12. Then we combine it. So this one, the whole thing becomes one over, uh, sorry, six over six u plus one over six u equals to one over twelve. It becomes seven over six u equals to one over twelve. So what we can do is just move one, move here, and then over by six the whole thing. So u should be around fourteen cm. Okay, so do 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 it currently. All right, for optical instrument. So let us see. Yeah, uh, okay, six point five. We're gonna talk about the optical instrument. So first one. Okay, we will we will. Uh, I mean, we will have magnifying glass. Okay, kanta perbesa. Okay, di mana jarak objek U adalah di antara F dan optik pusat optik U adalah kurang daripada F. So, objek distance U between F and optical center, okay, U is less than F. So, it means that is the the object object is on the in between the optical center and the and the focal uh, focal point. So, ciri-ciri ni, okay, ya lah, diperbesarkan, okay, image diperbesarkan, okay, uh, tegak dan maya. So, the characteristic of the image will be magnified, upright and virtual. Okay. So, try to jot down this. Okay.
Yes, okay. So then next, for the compound microscope, microscope much more, okay? So the, the good account of the object and science catch it, has to look okay? A compound microscope used to see a very small and fine object. So consists of two convex lens, okay? The DD that are the word Gunter Chambung. So first one, Gunter matter the name Panjang focus FE, okay? Eye piece with a focal length of FE. And Gunter object the Panjang focus FO, the objective lens with a shorter focal length FO. So what it do is the object first will create a first bigger image, will be first magnify a first image here by the eye by the eyepiece. Uh no 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 by the objective lens first, I think. Yeah, the objective lens first. It will create a it will be it will form a magnifying magnifying image okay by the objective lens then by using the eyepiece okay you will magnify again the the image that produced by the objective lens and become an even bigger image final image okay so this is how they are using two two magnification method okay double magnification method okay so in this case for the first image the characteristic will be inverted, real, and magnified. And the final image will be inverted, virtual, and magnified. Okay? So, okay, jot down this first. Then let me know. All right, so and draw this as well.
Okay, so let's continue. Now, for telescope. Telescope is actually an uh, uh, optical instrument that is used to see a very far object like stars and planet. Okay, so also consider as a two convex lens, okay? Almost similar like this one. So, okay, so we have a objective lens, okay? Counter object and uh, eyepiece. So it's a different that for objective lens is taken the is actually he's taken the is forming an image okay he's forming an image from an infinity or a very far place okay so image the hasil yang dibentuk oleh counter object telescope adalah dari object yang sangat jauh then your eyes piece lens will form while using the first image as object and form the final image at infinity. Okay, so then your maksudnya counter mata kamu akan menggunakan image yang dibentuk oleh counter object sebagai object dan dibesarkan. So image yang terakhir akan diletak akan terletak di infinity. Okay, so this is how. Alright, so try to jot down this. All right, okay, and then draw this as well. Okay, because these three are actually the one which is hot in your exam.
Okay, good. So let's continue. Uh, let's continue. Now, so oh, this one no need. Okay, so let's see the comparison between a compound microscope and a uh, telescope. Okay, so for first one, so both consist of two world convex lenses, and the first image is real and the inverted and inverted, which act as the object for the eyepiece, okay? Then the eyepiece will act like a magnifying lens where we will make the thing bigger. And the final image form will be virtual, inverted, and magnified. Okay? Okay, then for the, what you call? Wait, uh, Okay, for the for the what you call that uh, difference in terms of type of lens. Okay, this will use a two high power convex lenses for compound microscope. So telescope will use one low power convex lens as a high power convex lens, where the focal length for eyepiece will be bigger than uh, object uh, focal length of uh, objective lens for compound microscope for telescope the uh what you call that the ob objective uh lens focal point my uh, focal length will be longer than the the eyepiece focal length then the first image is magnified okay for the what you call that uh for the uh for the compound microscope now for the telescope the first image is diminished because it's from a very far away then you make it smaller then the for the position for the nine uh, final image, normally for the microscope is at the near point of observer's eye. Means that it's actually very near. It looks like very near to your eyes. While for the telescope, you were always at infinity. It means that the uh, the image form looks far away from you. So the total distance between both lenses it will be bigger than the fo plus uh, the focal point focal length of object plus focal length of uh eyepiece while for the telescope it will be the summations of the the distance between lenses will be the summations of object uh, objective lens focal length plus the eyepiece focal length while for the linear magnification okay the pros this uh, is will be m mo times me okay where this one will be m equals to f o uh, o divided by f e okay so i think you you better jot down uh, this one Okay, you better jot down this one. Okay, the whole whole thing.
Okay, then continue with this. Uh. Okay, this one, uh, I think you better jot down all of them uh, because uh, sometimes I will ask in your essay. And it's actually uh, within this, I, I forget, within these several years, I think two times uh, it already comes out.
Okay, then you continue with this. Okay, the most important here is this several thing you must be always remember. Because somehow when they ask, sometimes there will be some questions that will focus on this calculation. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's continue. Huh? 
So first, for the application, so normally they are using it in web, like CCTV, okay, the closed circuit television, and uh, cameras in the smartphone. So not all these small lenses, or we call thin lenses, normally are using for those, uh, I mean, miniature sensors or miniature instruments. Okay, so this is how the the things looks like where this is their vision field. So they are using the lens to create a, a ob, using the lens here and the object distance normally will be uh, I mean the the sorry the image distance okay uh, the sorry the what you call that the sensor location normally will be at the focal point okay and this uh what you call the we this is a vision field of it so they will make it like you see yum, yum. so this is how so the image that they form normally will be real inverted and diminished okay so the minimum distance between the sensors and the optical lens must be the same as the focal length of the camera lens okay and this example will see how the what you call the thickness of a smartphone and the focal length of the camera lens so normally the focal length of a wide angle lens of a smartphone will be 2.25 mm so the image below shows the thickness of a few actual model of smartphone so this is how the actual model so normally this is the thickness okay All right, so let's see number six. The image formation by the spherical mirrors. Okay, so all these we already know, except C. C is called centers of curvature, where center of is a center of sphere which a concave or convex mirror is formed. Pole of the mirror is the center point of the of the what you call that, uh, of the spherical mirror. Uh, pole of uh, this one. Okay, so this is how. Huh? And then the UV is same, focus length, focal length is the same. R is the radius of curvature of the mirror. All right, so let's see the. This is how it looks like. Huh? So normally, okay, so let's see how we draw this. Okay, this is the how the rules of ray diagram. So this is a ray diagram. So for ray diagram, first we will draw a, a what you call that? Um, the top of the object will go through the center of the curvature. Okay, and form a straight line. The second one is the straight. It will there will we will draw a second uh, a straight line. Okay straight line which is parallel to the principal axis okay from the top of the object and when it touch the pole this p uh, this is the pole and we will draw a second line which is from the intersection at pole move towards the point of the uh move towards the why you call that the focal point and the third, third point will be the third one uh, where we the straight line from the top of the object going past through the pass through the, the focal point until it reach the pole and from the intersection of a pole there will we will draw another straight line back towards the object direction which is parallel to the principal axis so when these three line combine together that point will be the highest point that point will be the point of the object you understand? You understand, Sawin? All right, so draw this tree. Okay, this is the ray diagram, the ray diagram of a concave mirror. So just draw this. No need to write, like, just draw this tree more than enough.
Dan Lamino. Okay, good. So let's continue with this. Now, this is how the, uh, I mean, the characteristic of image for the concave mirror. Okay, we are not talking about lens, we're talking about mirror. So, okay, and from the, when the object is at infinity, okay, so it will, this is how we draw the, what you call that, the, the ray diagram. So the image form will be real, inverted, diminish. Okay, when it's further than C, means it's, means that your U is more than 2F, then it will be real, inverted, and diminished. Okay, remember, uh, okay, your set, your normally, uh, normally, uh, C is equals to 2F, you know? Okay, C is equals to 2F, uh, this is very important, uh, means that your radius of curvature, uh, I mean, the center of curvature, the distance of center of curvature will be the will be the uh 2f which is the what you call that uh uh two times of two times of focal length okay like this huh? okay here and um shall we go okay i think you better jot down this okay uh i don't think you need to draw this Okay, I don't think you need to draw this, but you need to jot down the uh, the characteristic of image. Draw, I think, no need. Okay, then let me know. Huh? Sorry, I'm uh, just now uh, getting some drink, uh, getting my water. Okay. Okay. So let's continue with the other two. So when the object is uh, at the point of uh, the, what you call the center of curvature, so means that U is equal to 2F. Okay. So the, so the image form will be inverted real and same size as the object while it's within f point focal point and c so it will be inverted real and magnified so jump down this two as well
Okay, good. So let's continue with this. Wait, uh, let me check something. Okay. So when the object is at F, okay, so you will create a virtual upright and magnified image. And also when it's in between F and P, so it's when the you when your uh what you call object distance is less than the focal length. So it will become it will form a upright virtual and magnified uh what you call that magnified uh uh we call image. Okay, so just now this together with this as well. Huh? All right, so let's see. Okay, now because uh now we have already talked uh, finished about the what you call that the convex mirror, concave mirror for concave mirror. Okay, for concave mirror, I think I will I will we will left for the next next class. Uh, okay, we will left for next class for to discuss, uh, which is uh should be on uh thirteenth. Okay, because this 23rd, I'm not around. So 23rd, we won't have class. Huh? Okay, so that's why that's why I move it here. This is actually a replacement class. Okay, like we mentioned. All right, so I guess that's all for today. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, we will, I will off here. So next class, we were going to finish the form for syllabus. Okay, bye-bye. Okay,